Hi, everybody. Aloha. Good. Oh, bring that up here. No, I want that. I want to leave the tag on. I have, I have to leave the tag on because it's official. <laughs> there we go. Good. Well, one of the uh, most pleasant aspects of uh, being governor is uh, to be able to make proclamations. And uh, for a lot of us, I suppose it can be something in which you think, well, you get to do that every day, or it's just one proclamation after another. What, what uh, difference does, what, uh, what difference could it possibly make? And of course the difference is, and the reason we celebrate these days, is it gives us an opportunity to focus on what our values are. It gives us an opportunity to think, uh, if only for a few moments, about what it is that makes us unique especially here in Hawaii. And what is it that gives us that sense, not just of a Hawaii sense of place, but lets us know exactly what does it mean to be in Hawaii? Why is it a little bit different than perhaps any other place? Why is it something that fills our hearts uh, always with a sense of joy, but uh, even more particularly with a sense of responsibility as to what we need to do to maintain uh, that clear idea that has come down through us through generations now of hard work, of community, of family, uh, of living a ponal life, doing things the correct way, the right way, to honor those who came before and to honor the values we have uh, in Hawaii. That's what this proclamation is today. All of those things are embodied in uh, this proclamation in recognition of Shane Victorino Day. Uh, some of you may know that uh, Shane uh, won the 100-meter, 200-meter, and 400-meter uh, races back in the Hawaii State uh, Championships in another decade, yeah, another decade ago. He's just remembering now. I'm sure, I'm sure those records have been shattered since that time. But nonetheless, my point is that, that uh, for those coming up uh, through high school, thinking about trying to, to uh, uh, express themselves through competition, uh, it goes back to those days. And of course, uh, he's the second uh, Maui uh, athlete, uh, Maui-born athlete, to play Major League Baseball. Um, it, it was first drafted by the Los Angeles uh, Dodgers in the sixth round, who have been lamenting ever since that they let him get away. And, uh, and of course, out of St. Anthony's High School, which uh, Tony Takatani never lets me forget. Uh, but uh, so uh, one out of two isn't bad at St. Anthony's is the way I look at it, Shane. Uh, so and of course, he's a, a two-time uh, Major Le Baseball League All-Star, three-time Gold Glove champion uh, at, in center field for the Philadelphia Phillies. Um, the, I could go on about uh, uh, his humanitarian awards, uh, uh, the baseball, baseball Humanitarian Hall of Fame, Branch Rickey Award, uh, one of the JCs. Uh, top 2011 Young Americans. These things are all uh, important uh, recognition of, of the attributes that Shane Victorino has. But what he is concentrating on and why I am, am putting forth, there's, there's other folks who have done these, these things, similar things, and we're proud of them. But the reason that I'm making this proclamation today is because uh, Shane and his wife, Melissa, who I'm happy to say is with us today, established the Shane Victorino Foundation in February of last year. It has the mission of, of promoting opportunities for youth in Hawaii and Philadelphia. Hawaii's always reached out. As you know, the Aloha spirit goes everywhere. With anybody who's from Hawaii, they're carrying the Aloha spirit. It engages in projects which provide children with educational, recreational, and wellness programs. And we're certainly going to try and be supportive of that here in Hawaii. He's raised a considerable amount of money for children's charities throughout Hawaii's throughout Hawaii, too numerous to mention, and he's pledged uh, uh, equally uh, great amounts of money uh, to renovate the Philadelphia Boys and Girls Club that was really recently reopened as the Shane Victorino Boys and Girls Club. Uh, 
These are the kinds of values that make Hawaii unique, the kind of, of values that make Shane Victorino uh, a, an exemplar uh, of what Hawaii values are all about. This is not just for us. Wherever he is, he is carrying the aloha spirit with him. Uh, wherever he is, people know what Hawaii is all about. They know by his actions what Pono is all about, acting in the correct way. So therefore, as governor of the state of Hawaii, and on behalf of myself and Brian Schatz, the lieutenant governor, <coughs> do, <coughs> excuse me, do hereby proclaim today, November 21st, 2011, as Shane Victorino Day here in the state of Hawaii and ask all the people of the state to join us in recognizing Shane Victorino for his outstanding accomplishments in baseball and for his contributions to the health and wellness of communities throughout the state and for being Mr. Hawaii. A little, uh, a little better than what that one is. This was last oh. year's All-Star Game practice. Oh, jersey. right. Sign. So, oh, fabulous. Thank you very much. Fabulous. Here, I want to hold it up for everybody. <laughs> How about? How about that? Well, this one is the one I like. Even better. That's eight. <laughs> Here, I'll get you. You guys see? Isn't that terrific? Come on, Shane. Oh, oh, holy pictures, you know that. <laughs> Thank you. Shane, have a few words to say, please. Um, first off, I'd like to say thank you very much, Governor, for uh, you know making this day a uh, Shane Victorino Day. I think it's an honor. Um, you know, growing up in a place like Hawaii, as you said, there's no better place. And, uh, you know, every time I come back home, I, I realize how fortunate I am to come from a beautiful place like Hawaii. And as he, as, as Governor said, the Aloha spirit never leaves me. When I'm in Philadelphia, whether I'm playing in San Fran, L.A., it's always, you know, it's embedded in me. It will never leave me. And to be here today, to be able to talk about, you know, some of the things that you had mentioned in, in, in regards to uh, philanthropy stuff, I'm honored. I hope to be, be able to keep giving back to this wonderful state. And uh, we talked about, uh, I guess I'll keep our little secret, that uh, we talked about, uh, you know, our, 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 my dream of, of building, uh, you know, wonderful baseball complexes in Hawaii. It's a big dream. It's a goal of mine. It may be a long shot, but I, I, I'm determined to try to make it happen. So I'm excited. Thank you again, Governor, for uh, presenting this day, and uh, hopefully we can make all this happen. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Right. Right. I think uh, we do want to take some pictures. I'm going to take this down and uh, invite Melissa. Mrs. Victorino. Yeah. Hey, hold attention. My wife is definitely not ready for this. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Come on down. Yeah. Oh, you look beautiful. Look that. All guys only look like in my eyes. That's right. Oh, it's a pleasure. Sorry, honey. I didn't know you were going to be sucking up here. Come on. You two get in the middle, and Shane and I will get up. We'll play bookends. How's that? How's that? You look gorgeous, honey. <laughs> Sorry. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. Okay. Anybody get? He needs more in the back. All right. All right. Good. Thank you again. Sorry, honey. <laughs>